A pleasant day. I would like to present our research entitled Tocino Fish Product from Tilapia or Eucrumis Nilotica Spitters and Methods of Producing Lisa. My co researcher is Dr. Angelogi Telagi. This study relates to the process to see fish product and method of producing the said product. Aquatic organisms are consumed in almost every place in the world. They are eaten raw or cooked and preserved by salting, smoking, drying, freezing, or other method. Tilapia or Eucromis nilotica spitters is a fresh water species grown abundantly. It is low in fat and has a mild flavor. Picture shows the catching of tilapia, the picture of the freshly caught tilapia. This is the nutritional fox of tilapia, pure 3.5 oz or 100 grams are as follows. This is taken from the internet. The nutritive content, we have calories, total fat, cholesterol, sodium, potassium, iron, and protein. Methods. First is the acquisition of wet fish. Fresh tilapia was taken directly from the fish farm in the lake. We are from Camotes Island and we have the cleanest and the biggest lake in the province of Cebu and was cleaned and filleted while the fish was still alive. The rest of the ingredients were taken from the market and were brought to the fish processing laboratory. All procedures were held constant except for the main ingredients used. There are three treatments that were prepared and subjected to product profiling. The same utensils, equipment, and procedures were used throughout the product formulation. There were 10 laboratory panelists in the descriptive tests utilized and the preference tests were given to 50 consumer evaluators in three replications using the 9-point hedonic scale score sheet. There were three replications made in order to come up with the most reliable evaluation from the tasting panels. Procedure Cleaning The fish are washed and cleaned, removing the scales and the internal organs with clean running water. Filling The clean fish are filleted using sharp knife. Skinning The fillet are scanned and are washed again. Draining The fillets are drained to remove the excess water. The fillets were weighed and measured with the corresponding amounts as to its treatment for the recipe. Preparation of ingredients. The spices such as garlic, onion bulbs, bell pepper, and carrots are washed and diced. All ingredients are measured before mixing to the fish. The fish product obtained from the seed process can be utilized into fish rolls, fish tocinos, and fish tapa. In this case, we are only preparing fish tocino. These are the composition of fish tocino. Tilapia filet, lemon juice, rock salt, white sugar, minced garlic, minced onion bulbs, and minced bell pepper. The process of preparing tocino. The mixtures of salt, sugar, and other spices are pressed onto both sides of the filet fish. Then it was plain in a clean bowl, cured in the refrigerator for two days under chilling condition, after which the product was packed in a cellophane bag ready for the market. The result showed that the methods of processing fish products improve the odor, the color, the flavor, and the texture of tilapia meat, thus increasing the degree of acceptability of the processed product. This is the result of the descriptive tests assessment of the laboratory test panels. Odor is desirable, the flavor is slightly desirable, while the texture is slightly tender. This is the preference test result of the assessment by the consumer panelist on general acceptability to which it is like very much. Result further revealed 
that there were no significant mean difference in all attributes between the treatments. Based on the findings, it is safe to conclude that tilapia meat was generally acceptable to use as main ingredients in the preparation of fistocino and is highly recommended adapting the recipe for entrepreneurial venture through technology transfer. The costing Based on the cost of materials and the cost of production plus the 25% markup price considering the affordability of the consumer, results show that tilapia tocino cured with spices and calamansi can have a return on investment or ROI of 1.16 Philippine Peso or 116% earning per Peso of investment after deducting the cost of materials and the cost of production. Thank you and have a nice day.